If you are a print-on-demand seller on Amazon Merch, Redbubble, Spreadshirt, Society6, or any other t-shirt selling platforms, today's video might be of interest to you. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a new free tool. I know you guys love free. A new free, free tool called TrendingBubble.io. Uh, what's happening, guys? You guys have tuned in to Rules for Rebels. It's uh, it's been a while since I made any print-on-demand content, any uh, any content about Amazon merch, Redbubble, selling T-shirts online. Uh, I happen to see somebody today. I forget if it was in like a, a Facebook group or a forum or Reddit, uh, but somebody had posted about a new free tool they created. So that's what we're going to be kind of going over. Uh, I hope you guys appreciate the slightly better sound quality. I haven't tested out this mic. This will be the uh, the first video I'm using it for. I used to have a uh, a blue blue Yeti or blue blue Nessie, I think it was. I used to have a blue Nessie microphone. And uh, it was plugged into my computer when I was trying to run over and plug into my charger, and it smashed on the floor. So I've been using a Logitech headset lately. Uh, the sound's not the greatest, and when I first start recording, it's like really quiet for the first couple seconds. Uh, so hopefully this is an improvement on sound quality. My little back office here is uh, a little bit echoey. But uh, hopefully the sound's better, uh, and appreciate you guys hanging with me through shitty sound. Uh, anyhow, like I said, it's been a while since I've made any videos about Redbubble or Amazon Merch. I, I used to use Merch Informer, uh, pretty cheap, pretty affordable. I think it's like $9.95 a month or $12.95 a month. Uh, it, it's really not a bad deal. You get all types of keyword research. I think now they have uh, one of those copy and paste tools that comes along with it. They also have a, it's pretty basic, but they have a pretty basic t-shirt designer. Uh, so Merch Informer is a pretty decent tool if you're looking for... Uh, you know, if you don't mind shelling out 10 or 15 bucks. Uh, but I do realize a lot of people are looking for free tools, so I figured I'd show this one to you guys. And again, this one's called TrendingBubble.io. So I'm going to walk you guys through this a little bit. I have noticed the search feature kind of sucks. Um, so more than anything, this is going to be kind of like trending stuff. It's just going to be kind of a rough guide to get some ideas. Uh, if you're somebody who struggles to get ideas for new shirts, you're looking for new niches to break into, uh, you're looking for topics to make t-shirts about, just kind of scanning this list should be pretty helpful. We'll take a look at the actual search function, but from the little bit that I've toyed around with it, it hasn't really worked very well. So um, what we have here, we're going to have the search word, or a lot of these are, are kind of more phrases than they are words. Uh, we're going to have the results. So how many search results are associated with this keyword or this keyword phrase? Uh, the trending rank is how far up in the search results this is. So T solves everything is ranking number one. I actually just checked it a few minutes ago. It was actually number two, uh, but this one's fairly accurate. You're going to see a change in the result. So this is going to be sort of similar to like Google Trends to where you're going to see kind of like breakout phrases, breakout topics, breakout niches. Uh, the trending rank is is how much of a change is this uh, this topic has seen in the last 24 hours. And in this, I think they say don't rely solely on this. You may want to go to Trademarkia or the USPTO website and look it up. Uh, but it's got kind of a, a rough, fairly accurate trademark tool as well. Um, so if we kind of go through here, T solves everything. And you know, you can actually copy this keyword or this keyword phrase directly and make a t-shirt that says T solves everything. But what this also tells me is T is a hot topic, right? So I don't need to just say T solves everything, copy that shirt, and then move on to the next thing. What other what other types of t-shirts in the T niche could I make? So, uh, you know, you could get into specific T's. So Earl Grey solves everything, black T solves everything, green T solves everything, matcha solves everything, uh, you know, boba tea or bubble tea. You know, I, I recently got turned on to bubble tea. What a fucking life changer, man. There's this awesome bubble tea shop by my house. Um, and this is the only place I've ever had bubble tea from. I, I've taken a few other people there and uh, pretty much universally everybody has said this is the best bubble tea I've ever had. Even people have had it from a lot of places. Another weird niche, I'm getting kind of getting off on a tangent here. Another weird thing about a lot of these bubble tea places, they all seem to have fried chicken of some sort as well. So like I got one bubble tea near me that's like bubble tea and wings. Uh, there's another place that's bubble tea and chicken sandwiches. By far the best chicken sandwich I've ever had in my life. Um, but yeah, I, I've been obsessed with bubble tea lately. But bubble tea shirts are, are pretty hot. Um, so, you know, don't just take this for the phrase it is, use that, and then move on. <coughs> Excuse me. At the end of the day, uh, print-on-demand selling, especially on platform is, platforms, is a numbers game. Uh, you got to have a lot of shirts up there. You know, if you have 10,000 shirts up, 
you know, probably less than 10 of those shirts are going to sell a huge number. And even if, you know, the top 10% of those shirts sells one a piece, uh, you know, that's 100 shirts right there. So uh, print on demand is definitely a numbers game. So try to create designs in, you know, try to create as many designs out of a single idea as you possibly can. Uh, let's see, you are my favorite notification, inspirational words about stay positive, right? Like that's, you wouldn't put inspirational words about life stay positive on a shirt, but this tells us that people are searching for shirts about positivity. So that could have something to do with, you know, religion, maybe Jesus loves me. That's why I'm positive. It could just be something like a smiley face. It could be thumbs up, stay positive, keep your head up. Uh, 2021 will be a better year, I promise. But, you know, you could find some ways to kind of uh, spin this off into some different ideas. Uh, nope, still not having kids. My dog is allergic. Uh, all types of shirts we can make about, you know, I'm a dog dad. I'm a dog mom. Uh, no kids for me. You know, different things like that. Spotify plaque. Not sure what that's about. Uh, openly black. This is kind of like a BLM themed shirt. Uh, save our surf. Enjoy every burger. Driver's license Instagram story. That's an odd one. Life of Boris. Uh, we'll get a few more of these. Uh, Barry Wood bobblehead. Pugs on the run. Books are my first love. You know, you can do a lot of shirts about books and reading and things like that. Uh, half day, half holy. Um, and you know what? This is obviously like this is specifically geared towards the platform Redbubble. This is like specifically geared towards Redbubble.com. Uh, but these ideas and these topics are probably also going to going to do pretty well on Amazon Merch, Society6, uh, Spreadshirt, Teespring, all these different platforms. If you have your own print-on-demand Shopify store, uh, you could play around with some of these ideas as well. And uh, probably not so much for content creation, but just like pretty much everything on this list is things that are trending. So if you're a content creator, these might be some topics you want to create content around. Uh, and then, you know, I told you guys we'd, we'd take a quick look at this. Like, let's say if we type in Biden, uh, I hate Joe Biden, 447 search results, uh, number two. Let's see if we type in Trump, real Donald Trump. Let's see, Pelosi, nothing. Uh, let's do a sport like soccer, nothing. Boating, nothing. Bitcoin, Bitcoin is my Valentine. Uh, only 51 shirts, it's ranking number two. This could be a good one to go after. And just in terms of how to use this data, you know, I assume a lot of you guys kind of understand how to use data like this. But if you are like completely new to print on demand, if you're not really great with data, okay, so Bitcoin is my Valentine. That's gonna be our phrase or kind of the topic. You know, it could just be a, a Bitcoin logo uh, on a heart, right? It doesn't have to be Bitcoin is my Valentine. Anything Bitcoin and Valentine related. Uh, there's only 51 results. So what does that tell me? I mean, on Amazon, a lot of hot topics or trending shirts have literally like thousands, tens of thousands of results. So the fact that there's only 51 results tells me that like there's not a ton of people making these shirts. It's not overly competitive. Trending rank tells me that this phrase is ranking really high. So not only people who are searching this specific phrase are going to come across this shirt, <clears throat> But people searching anything about Bitcoin or Valentine, this is probably going to rank fairly well. Uh, the result change, if I see, you know, this is within the past 24 hours. So if I see something's up like 300%, that tells me that this is hot right now. This is hot as of the last 24 hours. And it's something I better get on quick. Kind of same thing with the change in, in rank, right? If the, the, the change in rank is like, you know, up 20, it just moved up 20 spots. Again, you know, timeliness, it's something I want to get on right away. And then I can see whether this has uh, whether this phrase is trademarked or not. And if it is trademarked, I probably want to try to avoid it. If it's not trademarked, it, it's something I'm going to go after. So, um, you know, not a, a whole lot to, to go on about. I'm going to keep this video kind of short today. Um, but, you know, for any of you guys who are selling on Redbubble, uh, Amazon Merch, any of these platforms, you may find some use out of this tool. Again, this tool is called TrendingBubble.io. And if you guys are looking for something a little bit more advanced, uh, you know, I, I sub I'm not subscribed to it right now. I did subscribe to Merch Informer for years. I'm not as active with the print on demand stuff as I was in the past. Uh, so I eventually cut my subscription. But if you guys are interested in that one, uh, I'll drip, drop a uh, link down below as well. I am an affiliate. I think if you sign up for a whole year, I get a whole whopping eight bucks or something like that. Uh, but if anybody's interested in something a little bit more advanced than this tool, uh, I'll drop that down below. And I know there's a lot of free tools out there that do similar things, you know, analytics for Amazon Merch, Redbubble, all these platforms. So if you guys know of a free tool that's been good for you and you want to share it with the rest of the community here, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Let us know what it is. 
Uh, that's all I really got for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button below, ding the bell, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.